Hi Libra, this is a general love reading for mid-July to the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And of course, it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading with me if you want to get more specific information. Alright, all that information is in the description box. So let's see what is going on with Libra. In July to the end of July, what is the overall energy? Okay, so we have mute. Okay, so this could be in reference to you or it could be in reference to another person here that is related to you. So it feels like somebody is either ghosting the other person or maybe there is this decision to not be in much communication or somebody is just holding back communication or some kind of verbal expression. All right, so let's get into it and see what this is about. So in this round of zodiacs, I will be focusing more on you. <clears throat> so you do you might want to cross check. All right, for your for your person. So let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for your recent past, we have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Okay. So there seems to have been some kind of action that was taken that may have been either a little bit defensive or just really trying to block something out. And it almost feels like this isn't really, um, whoever, whoever this is who is putting a block to this connection, I feel doesn't really feel like that is what they want to do, okay? Because we also have the Page of Swords here, so I feel like whoever it is that is being mute, or maybe it's the both of you, but whoever this is, this person is <clears throat> still curious, still kind of trying to figure out what it is that you are doing. I, I know I said that um, this is mostly for you, but it, of course the roles can be reversed, okay, because it is a general reading. So I feel like that one person here, could be you, has put a block up to this connection, but you are still trying to kind of figure out what the other person is up to. So let's see the current situation. We have the Three of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. All right, yeah, so it feels like you're still, if this is you, you're still kind of looking into the future with this person. Um, you're still kind of having this expectation that maybe things might work out, but it also feels like the fact that you are waiting for whatever it is to happen here, it's making you feel a little bit disappointed. It's making you feel a little bit unhappy. And I feel like you're really struggling with trying to figure out what it is that you wanna do. Again, if, it's, if this isn't you, it could totally be your person. So let's see what is coming up and then we'll clarify. So we have the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Let me just move them over. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's still a sense of disappointment the more that you are, you or the other person are waiting for something here, waiting for some kind of an action, waiting for something to happen, possibly waiting for communication because there is still love here, okay? And I do see that this love or the emotions might actually come back up or um, just come a little bit more to the surface. All right, so <clears throat> let's actually clarify. So let me clarify that seven of wands in the recent past.
All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Clarifying the Seven of Wands. All right, yeah. So there has been a block, all right? Somebody has pretty much either set a boundary or has been like, you know what? Like, we're going to stop this communication. Again, this person is still interested in what is going on, though. Now, what this block is for is for this... Um, it's kind of like blocking the progression of this connection to move towards a full-on commitment. It's like, yeah, you know what? There's just no way that I can be 100% committed. I cannot be 100% providing. And so for that reason, we're taking a break. Or for that reason, I'm pulling back. For that reason, I'm just going to, you know, be passive and we're just not going to be communicating. Again, I feel like it's more of, it's either you're doing this because, if this is you, you're either doing this because you kind of feel like you have to, even though that's not what you truly feel, but maybe you feel like you need to send, set this boundary because there's something else you need to do here, something else you need to focus on, or something just isn't working in this connection, or it's completely out of a self-defense mechanism, which, again, I mean, it's like, it's like the action doesn't really match the feelings. So let's see the three of wands. We have the two of cups. Yeah, so you're still you're still thinking about this. You're still thinking that there's a possibility here for this connection to actually manifest. There's still a lot of emotions. All right, with this person. Let me clarify the four of cups. And this is why you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about the future with this person. Or that's what this person is thinking about you. Okay, so for the Four of Cups, we have the Two of Wands and Death. I feel like somebody here is just kind of, especially having the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, somebody is not... Somebody's being very, very passive in all of this. Obviously, I mean, we have the mute card, everything I just discussed. Whoever is doing that, and I'm just going to assume it's you, you're, there's a sense of disappointment that you are holding back from actually putting a plan into practice or from actually going for something that, that you want here, right? That two of cups or that for whatever reason that it's not coming in. So it is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, and it's almost like, you know, you feel like this might be done. You feel like this might be done and you don't want it to be. You still, you're still kind of looking into the future with this person. And I feel like you, you don't, you don't want this to be done. Deep inside, you don't want it to be done. The thought that it might be done actually disappoints you, makes you feel, makes you feel like, well, then, you know, what, what is there to feel? Let me see the two of pentacles. The four of cups and the four of wands. So the Four of Cups showing up again. Yeah, see, so there's a lot of disappointment here um, again showing up because, because this is a very deep connection. This is a person who you feel is like a part of your soul. This is a person you feel that you, that you belong with. And this is why it's so difficult to actually cope with the situation the way it is. Um, this blocking, this mute, this okay passiveness, still interested in what the other person is doing. Um, and so there's a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. I feel like you, you might be reconsidering the dynamic of the situation or the decision that was made to put an end to this. Or if it's not like an end-end, it's like, okay, either a pause, a break, 
a no, no contact, no communication, something along those lines, or just pulling back and being like, you know what, we're just not going to talk about this particular thing. It could be anything, okay? Because it's going to be different for all of you, but there's some kind of a mute, muteness here, some kind of a blocking out of something. And whoever initiated that is having second thoughts. It's like they're not happy with that decision. Still waiting for this connection to possibly manifest in the future. But I feel like that's actually the problem, that it's more of a future-oriented um, thing in this person's mind. So it's like with the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands, like, yeah, it's there. I'm thinking about this. I'm wanting to do this, but I'm not actually taking much action. There's a lot of passiveness here. With the Four of Cups showing up twice and then also the Four of Swords. The Two of Pentacles kind of going back and forth between between two options or two alternatives. All right, so let's see what is coming up. Let's see the Five of Cups. Ooh, okay. The, the Tower and the Nine of Wands clarifying the Five of Cups. So this is a major, major event that is happening here, coming up, which is going to bring, oh gosh, okay. Again, if you're, it could be that you're cross-watching for someone else, and even if you're not, we might have a lot of cross-watchers for Libra, so it could still be your person, even if you are the Libra, okay? Just take the messages as they resonate, and maybe it's not your situation, that's okay too. Because I'm seeing here that there's going to be um, a lot of sadness because of this decision, and it's actually whoever made this decision, okay? Let me just say that. It's whoever made this decision. There's going to be some sadness, some regret, and that is actually going to make things blow up. And I feel like that is actually what is going to elicit some kind of a transformation, some kind of a change. Because then we do have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups af after that, which is somebody taking action towards love. But before that happens, there has to be this, you know, well, this pause, this muteness, this blocking is going to create this tower moment first and it's going to create a lot of difficulty for this person and I do see some initial resistance at first with this nine of wands um, like really just trying to process the emotions because they're going to be very very strong very very intense feeling like you know their, their whole, whole world is pretty much falling apart Um, so yeah, they might resist that a little bit, but then we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So let me clarify the Knight of Swords, because it seems like there is finally some action. Let's see. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so two knights here. There's definitely some movement. It might not be the fastest movement. I mean, the Knight of Swords is very fast. The Knight of Pentacles is not that fast. So it doesn't really matter whether it's going to be fast or not. It is still movement. And it could be fast moving, but still taking a while to get to the destination, for example. Okay, and it could be that this person, yes, might communicate. And again, this could be you. This person might communicate with the other person, but still kind of working slowly on the um, grand plan, right? Moving towards this love. But I do see something happening here, which I feel um, will, be, will be noticeable. Will be noticeable. There will be some tangible kind of an action. Actually, let me get one more. Get one more for the nights here. Yeah, we have judgment. Okay, so this is like, I love that we have judgment and it's following the tower because this is like things blowing up, right? And then somebody starting again. This is the rebuilding with the judgment. This is that old paradigm coming down and then rebuilding here. Like having a resurrection. And I also love that it's right under death, like death and then the resurrection. And this is what this is feeling like. It's like this muteness. It's like this death, right, of something within this connection. And then it's like, bam, there's a tower. And then right after that tower, here you go, you know, the, the Knight of Swords and, and Judgment. So I feel like this, this um, little separation here 
is actually leading to up to this tower, which is going to be a very difficult one. It's going to have a lot of grief associated to it, but then that is what actually creates this transformation and actually pushes somebody to take some action. Let's see the Queen of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so this is... If there is anything that somebody is having an attachment to, I actually see whoever that is breaking away from that, becoming more independent, feeling more self-assured, feeling more self-confident when it comes to following their intuition and moving in the direction of love. All right, so that's actually a very positive ending here for, for this month um, and where things seem to be heading. So, yeah. Somebody is following their intuition here, following their heart. Because like I said in the very beginning, it felt like this whole situation up here that happened in the recent past was not in alignment with somebody's feelings. And it's like now breaking away from that, that creating a tower, feeling what it's like to not go with your emotions and actually go against them. That creates the tower pushing this person to move more and more towards what, where their emotions are guiding them, where their intuition is guiding them. So that mute card, I actually do see some communication coming up here in the near future. All right, Libra, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And if it did resonate, please let me know if this was actually, if this resonated for you or if you're cross-watching. All right, and we have the full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, so just take that as it resonates. If you feel like you might have been holding on to negativity, um, take that as a message. If you feel like your person has been holding on to some negativity or possibly resentment and or whatever the case might be, you know, that person is releasing it, that energy. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for watching and much love.